We have 10 million refugees. I don't want to go from stupid post to stupid post, but another big topic is the refugee crisis. First things first, and a disclaimer, it is beyond reason to say that the refugees are not creating socio-economic tensions for the local people. However, the refugees are not equally distributed, and as such, it makes no sense to claim that they are a problem in each and every province. Likewise, it's beyond reason to say that all of them mind their own business or are perfectly compatible to Turkish society or that they are all going to integrate perfectly into Turkish society. Integration is not a one-way road and you either realize this early enough or you learn it the hard way. It takes decades in order to see good results and decades to fully integrate the majority of refugees. It's not an easy task. It requires a lot of work from the refugees from the local people and most importantly it requires a proper plan by the government. Feel free to criticize the specific problems in specific cases. Feel free to punish people that start crimes. I'm not against any of that. I'm not even against people voicing their concerns with refugees when we take the economic situation of Turkey into consideration. But there is a thin but sharp line between legitimate criticism and sheer degeneracy. So let's see what this stuff has to say. Again. I'm not getting some niche topics here. These topics appear over the months over and over and over and over again. Examples are for instance this, which is a mega threat from April 2022. This is from one year ago, so 2021. This is from three years ago, so roughly 2019. And this topic does involve refugees and mines. Literal mines. Again, let's see what constructive criticism these people have. After all, they are open-minded pro-Western Democrats that are surely full of empathy. We're going to suffer a lot. I feel a bit sorry for women and children, but I don't care that much about them because I'm not a child or a woman. They are invaders. Go to Kulic, Hatay, Gaziantep or Fatih in Istanbul. They should all be kicked. I don't care about human rights. A pro-group. Casually suggesting a genocide. And of course, the creme de la creme, why is the border not mined even though mines are a war crime and this is agreed upon by Turkey? With comments like, there are 8 million refugees, we're going to end bad, or let them all in, we're going to kill them. The only solution is a civil war and everyone has to take a side, next to the refugees or the Turkish people. This is paraphrased by the way, I do know what he literally wrote, but this is the context he's giving. I'm not gonna bother explaining why sheer racism and fascism is wrong or why general statements are very problematic since this dude already did it for everyone. The sheer degeneracy resulted in people feeling more confident in voicing racism and behaving like complete degenerates. This dude just came to Turkey, minding his own business for a trip, and people started insulting. They started harassing this man and his wife. Why? He looked Arabic. Amazing. You can be angry all you want, it does not justify your racist attitude or your degenerate comments. To begin with, the number of refugees in Turkey I exaggerated into oblivion. Turkey is in fact the country that hosts the largest amount of refugees, roughly 3.7 million, but this is not 8 or 9 or 10 million. There are Turkish sources claiming the number of refugees to be significantly higher, such as this with over 5 million. However, they do take foreign citizens into account, which just for example include Almanjus that move to Turkey to live. The nonsense claim of 8 to 10 million refugees comes from the Turkish Wikipedia, which again does include foreign citizens that legally enter the country. A source for the 10 million is by the way not provided. The only thing that I could find which was remotely trustworthy is this, which counts 1.5 million foreign citizens that legally entered the country. If you theoretically count people that were foreign citizens and became Turkish into this, you may or may not reach 8 million people. But either way, the country is not hosting nearly 8 million refugees which is just pulled out of the ass. For over a century this retardation exists and the refugee crisis is just abused in order to let racism free reign. And for all I care, be racist if you want to and direct your racism at people that act out of place. But stop being a degenerate to people that mind their own business and try their best to integrate into Turkish society since there are such people as well. People act like crime rates are off the charts when statistics show that such a thing is not happening. Crime rates are in fact falling since 2012. It is bonkers to say here but I don't believe official statistics and I don't have a source besides my ass. 
when a separate scientific research provides the same conclusion. All the analysis show that crime rates did not increase after refugee inflows, irrespective of their size. In fact, the number of foreign victims increased, which raises a lot of questions in regards to who the victim actually is. In fact, empirical evidence shows that crime rates among refugees is lower because, quote, Therefore, it will not be wrong to argue that the Zero refugees decreased the number of crimes per 100,000 residents because their propensity to commit a crime is lower than the native population. When there are Zurians scoring full marks during university entrance exams, then you are the problem. Labeling such people as a problem, you have to murder away. And if you dare to say, but I don't care, I care for my country, then I have to remind you of something very important. Nemutlu Türküm diyene, here. You are a Turk when you see yourself as a Turk, when Turkey is your country, when the place you call home is in Turkey. Being a Turk was not defined by your ethnic origin, by your culture, by your mother tongue, your religion, your non-religion or your skin tone. Turk is who sees himself or herself as a Turk. That's the foundation Turkey was created and you are much but not a camelist if you bend the words of the founder to your own fascist and racist desires. Each and every one of the Syrians that grew up in Turkey, tried their best to integrate into Turkish society and feel home in Turkey are in their full rights to call themselves Turks.